What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and today I'm going to show you how to install the brand new and latest version of Sunshine or at least the uh, latest stable release. So it's been a while since I've done one of these and uh, since then it has changed their naming scheme which actually makes it a lot easier. We can tell the exact date that a release came out based on the naming scheme. So this makes it really easy to uh, tell the ordering and such. But anyway, before we get started, quick shout out to Gabriel Paso. He is my first Patreon supporter. If you want to support me on Patreon, click on the link in the description below. So, onto the video itself. We are at uh, Lizard Bytes GitHub page and we're going to download the latest version, which came out two weeks ago. Uh, so let's go ahead and look for the Windows version. So here's the Windows installer, perfect. And it is 11.5 megabytes. It's wild that they can fit so much into such a small package. I actually don't know if they download stuff on the installer or not. I haven't looked into the code deep enough, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty small installer, so that's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and click on next to go through the install, agree, and choose where you want to install Sunshine. I'm gonna leave that at default. I will leave the start menu at default, and here's all the optional tools and scripts you can um, install with it. So we have DXGI info and audio info, which I personally I think are pretty important and then the virtual gamepad which I personally see it as a required thing um, add firewall exclusions if uh, you want to try doing that automatically and then launch on startup if you want it to start on startup so I'm gonna leave all those checked and hit install so once we hit install it opens up the documentation here which is nice and it looks like the install is finished let's go ahead and click on finished here and I'm gonna move my camera to the other side so we can click on this tray icon and you'll see that there is a sunshine icon in the bottom right so let's go ahead and right click on that and choose open sunshine now you might come across this page where it says the connection is not private that's because this is a local server and it can be trusted because you just installed it right so let's go ahead and proceed to localhost and here we go here we can set the username and password i'm just going to go ahead and choose a very simple password so that i don't forget what it is as i'm going through the tutorial and then we'll go ahead and click on login and the page will reload shortly after it's gone ahead and uh, set that new password. And then we have to type in that password. So sunshine was the username and then we'll sign in. Perfect. Now it says we're running the latest version of sunshine in this nice um, dark theme. Very cool. And let's go ahead and go to configuration just to make sure everything is set up properly. And I'll go through all of these uh, in another video on how to configure sunshine to your machine. Um, but I just want to kind of show you where everything is so we can change our password up top, but, um, otherwise in configuration, you're going to want to go to audio slash video and choose the audio sync. So where do you want your audio to come out? Um, if you're using it on a, another client, you might not want it to come out of your computer. So you would use a virtual sync. So it streams to a, uh, virtual speaker that no one actually hears and then streams that audio to the actual device you want to listen in on. Um, this will install Steam audio drivers by default, which is nice. Usually, none of this needs to be set, but if you have specific requirements, you can go ahead and set those there. Um, and then, of course, you can go ahead and set your performance presets. I personally think the defaults in Sunshine are really great, but as I said, I'll go uh, much more in-depth in another video soon. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. We'll go to applications and you'll see that we have two, um, applications that we can start either in desktop, uh, mode, like a remote desktop or steam big picture. So it works more like a, a steam OS style interface and that'll work with your controller and everything because we installed Vincembus. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below and definitely let me know if you have any other questions or uh, specifics that you'd like me to answer about, uh, sunshine. Thank you so much for watching and hope you have a good one. That's that digital guru with a modern day voodoo. The dude with the short fuse for ignorant minds. You can learn a thing or two about a new device. Unbox and kudos, we rock that pseudo administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect, uh. 